Hi, I'm James from Wallsmart. Today I'll be showing you the installation process of the new construction flush installation wall mount for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch tablet. The wall mount supplied is unpainted but finished together with the wall. To charge the iPad in the wall mount, the wall mount is supplied with a PoE to USB-C converter. Connect the PoE CAT6 cable to the wall mount before installation and connect the PoE cable to a PoE Plus power source. All new construction wall mounts have an installation step on the back and have a drywall compound groove on their front. To install the wall mount, start by picking the correct place and installation height and add additional horizontal supports connected to the studs and route any cables necessary to the installation point. To install the mount, apply structural adhesive to the back step of the mount and then connect your PoE CAT6 cable to the wall mount. All right, and we need to check to make sure the mount is perfectly level and then attach it using some drywall screws. The next step is we're going to cut and mount the drywall around our mount. Perform at least a level four drywall finish per ASTM C840. So now we're gonna chamfer the drywall around the edges of the mount. For better rigidity, apply setting type compound in the gap between the mount and the drywall. Please pay attention to apply the setting type compound to the gap between the mount and the drywall only. Do not apply setting type compound in the wall mount front groove. Next, apply drywall compound and paper tape using high quality pre-mixed drywall compound. In this installation, paper tape will perform better than mesh or fiber tape. Please pay attention to apply the paper tape to the bottom of the wall mount front groove. Align the paper tape so no part of it will touch the inner groove slope and squeeze out all of the drywall compound beneath the tape. If required, cut along the paper tape to reduce its width. Let the installation thoroughly dry at least one day or more if you are working in a damp room. Sand adapter and drywall compound using fine sandpaper. The surface of the adapter is visibly clean green. Apply the first drywall joint compound layer and allow it to dry at least overnight. Sand excess compound, apply second drywall joint compound layer and let dry at least overnight. Avoid heating the installation point using a blower. Let joint compound dry in the ambient room temperature. Sand excess compound, apply a third drywall compound layer in case it's required for minor touch-ups. Clean out the audio grills. Paint the wall, avoid spray painting, and do not paint internal surfaces. Remove the protective plug. Before inserting the iPad, clean the wall mount and internal surfaces. Connect and hide the iPad power cable.
connect and insert the iPad into the wall mount. To remove the iPad, push the connector side edge and detach it from the magnets. 